All right, bros, here we come back into the port of Ingleback. That's right here's where we had left off. We had the duty to try and rebuild Marie Batois' <sighs> screwed up city. We've also got a quest that we need to get a bunch of tools to Mr. Guy Forkus here. That can wait a little while. First, we're going to see what we need to do here. Everybody's happy. Everybody's looking good here. Um, what do we need to advance? I always knew coming to your town was a good idea. To advance that particular town, we're going to need a ton of tools and a ton of wood. Okay. we go we've got our first citizens okay what do we have they now we're not going to be able to do anything about their food remember because they need spices as long as fish is coming in and doing good we'll be good there um, they do need clothing so we need to get a gonna need to get a what, weavers is that what it is a weavers hut yes so we're going to need a weaver's hut, and the weaver's hut is going to need some hemp farms around it. So let's see where a good place to have that is going to be. How about right over here? Hmm, we're still going to have to make sure it's within a town center, so we can, or at least within the uh, radius of one of our one of our depots here. So I'm thinking that one's got a lot to do. This depot here, the small market building, might be a good one. Let's put a weaver's hut right here. What are you doing? Building storage is full. Okay. And he is going to need a hemp plantation. So let's see if this is going to be adequate. Four hemp fields. That should be good. Let's just turn it so we can stack it. One, two, three, and four. Okay, this you should start seeing. There is running. a lack of company in your settlement. Should start see this running here at about a hundred percent soon. Once it does, this over here will be able to start getting hemp in as well. We'll have to take a good look and make sure that that's going to be enough. I can't remember from working on Falconstone whether one hemp farm is going to be enough. We'll take a look here and see how it's looking. Let's see, do we, can we upgrade this small market building? Can it be upgraded? Hmm. It can be, but we're going to need more stone before we can do that. All right, we'll hold off on that. Let's come and see if we can advance some more of these peasant homes. Get a few more citizens into town. Okay, so the citizens are at 32, and I need to click on one of their houses. Make sure I deny them ascension rights as well. deny it again good so we don't want them using up all their tools and stuff without our permission to do so advance a few more of these houses just to get a good base in here and see how the various supplies like fish and cider and clothing are going to hold out. Now let's see how many we have. 92 of 135. Okay, so we can cut the peasants, raise their taxes back up, and let us check on our weaver's hut. It is running. Hemp plantations going at 100%. 
This is going at 14. It is climbing. We'll have to wait to see just how high it gets. I got a feeling we're going to need a second plantation. I think that is correct. In the meantime, I'm going to hop in my boat and we'll probably go over here to Hookburg. Okay, everything looks like it's doing okay. How is the tool factory? Tool factory is working at 100%. So we know that the iron smelter is enough to keep it occupied. And stone masons, I love those 100%. It is very nice to have a game going here where I don't have to worry about uh, power levels and ecological balance. Now, I think all my tools have been being shipped down here to Falconstone. If that is correct, Magellan should be bringing them down here. And they are, we've got 37 tons of tools. How many do we have left in Engelbeck? We have four. So I am going to send the Santa Maria down here. We are going to pick up some more tools from the work from the uh, warehouse we have here. Right after the game finishes saving. And while the ship is on its way. Let's see if the weaver's hut is giving us any more of an indication of how we're doing. 38% and doesn't seem to be working. Hmm. Alright, we definitely need at least one more hemp plantation. Let's put this one over here on this side of the road. And now plant its fields. further? I don't think we're going to have the room for four of them, are we? One, two, nope, so I need to move it. Let's back it up a little bit. That should do it. Okay, it's already claimed that one. We'll also give it to this farm, this one, and this one. Okay. Is that going to improve our factory? Yeah. It is climbing. If this ends up being around 60 something percent, we'll know we'll need a third. Of course, this one right here isn't up to 100 yet. Alright, is the Santa Maria... Have they made it Falconstone? They have. We can gather those tools. I want to get the max so that there's plenty of room for the Magellan to bring more down. Now, how many did Guy Forcus want? He wanted 15 tools down here in Port Sacro. So that is where we are going to sail the ship. And until we hear him interrupting us here in a moment, Take a look. Citizens are doing well. It looks like they are currently supplied in clothing. So let's upgrade a few peasants. Uh oh, what are we missing? Should have advanced them. Oh, they haven't turned yet. Um, why are there no licenses? No abilities to raise up. Interesting. Have you finally brought those tools that have been taking oh. so long? Now you give me the arrows. Why did you wait until he butted in? 
Yes, I've brought the tools that have been taken. There is a so lack long. of company in your settlement. Have you carried out the quest with great diligence? At last. We will soon set sail. Order everyone aboard. Cardinal Lucius will join us later when we are assembled at the border of the Oriental Realm. I am so excited. I, uh, I've heard some worrying rumors about this crusade. These shoddily built ships. I dare not speak out loud. We must talk in private. Well, I have no problem with that. I've been wanting to talk to you for a while about this guy. Hurry up and cast off! The bawling from those brats is utterly unbearable. They should be grateful that they are able to contribute to this crusade. Those are some pretty sorry ships there, my gosh. And apparently have children on board, he said the bawling from the brats. Let's see, children on board. Skanky little tubs in a rainstorm. This is not going to go good. This is not going to go good at all. Alright, chapter 3. 230 of 310 points. Hmm. A huge responsibility. So, done. Yeah, that's what I was worried about. I was concerned that if we continued along that we wouldn't get credit, wouldn't be able to finish one of these uh, side quests here. But hey, that's chapter 3 out of the way. And they weren't my people after all. So, we're going to start next mission. The seamen scramble around the rigging, and the sailors haul the provisions aboard. The rusts of the ramshackle rust buckets, with their cargoes of children, had not long disappeared over the horizon. Lord Northborough harbored a terrible suspicion. He drove everyone into action, exhorting them to move with the utmost haste, until finally a small fleet was able to set off in pursuit. An adventure began the outcome of which no one could ever have imagined at the time. And we will set sail on this adventure. Look! The ships are carrying children! What's this? More ships are approaching from the starboard side. Of those Corsairs. We are drawing close to our target, men! These ships are ours! Prepare to board! This ship of yours appears to be damaged. How did my ships get damaged? Exactly how did my ships get damaged? It's a cutscene. I did nothing. We have no chance while this storm is raging. One of my islands must be quite near here. We might make it there. Thank you, Lord Northburg. Yet another fool's errand. I could have been rebuilding that town, you know. Chapter 4, The Lost Children. It's about time for Guy to pop up with one of his... The storm wisdoms. has subsided at last. I cannot stop thinking about those poor children. We must do our utmost to find them. Let's start here in the monastery. There is a monastery on the island. Perhaps the friars could help us in our search. 
Okay, so I have a new town. Our ships are in a very sorry state after that heavy storm. Would you be so good and make sure they can be repaired? It looks like I'm essentially gonna have to rebuild everything I just finished building. Thank you so much. We could have stayed at home. Mm. All right, well, is there any arrow at the monastery? There is, so let's click there. The path to the monastery is extremely taxing. Would you be so good as to build a road? You know, for somebody that uh, moves so slowly, you certainly get around. How did when you these children went beat missing, us here? I said to myself, hilarious, there's something very fishy here. So I followed you and promptly ran into this dreadful storm. With great difficulty, I managed to make it to my brother's monastery. And then the rain even washed the road away. Lovely. Let's put a small market building over here. That will not only give us a depot that will pick up our supplies and our goods, it's going to allow us to extend this road here as well. A road! God bless you! I did actually see a ship full of children to the northeast of here. Heavens above, I, I hope they didn't run aground on these rocks. And you didn't feel that that was worth telling me until you blackmailed me into building a road. Thank you so much. To the northeast. You have... Oops. I missed what you had to say, but let's go check out the reef. Is my ship capable of movement? Ooh, they are damaged. Look at the little we hit bars. We should start our search at the cliffs in the north. Yeah, we will, but first I've got to work on a uh, repair, remember? Which I'm not going to be able to do until I have 355 citizens. Swordfish. We should start our search at the cliffs in the north. What happened to the Santa Maria? See, the Santa Maria wouldn't let me down like this. The cliffs in the north. Okay, well, let's go up here then. Let's assume the cliffs in the north are a place we have to find. Not any of these little mountains here that do not seem to have any kind of arrows floating above them. I wonder if this is the reef he was talking about. I don't see any splintered uh, ships or children. So perhaps we've gotten lucky. Uh-oh, what's that? Swivel the camera around and get a look at it. It's definitely a shipwreck. But it doesn't seem to be our shipwreck because it's not giving us any kind of acknowledgement that anything is even there. So, on with the search. Obviously no survivors here. Let's come over here at this reef as well. If this is a reef. I'm not seeing any reefs. Not seeing cliffs in the north. Uh oh, there we go. I 
could be back home drinking cider. There! Up ahead, by the reef. Castaways! Good heavens! The children can hardly keep their heads above water! As they float in barrels. Okay, let's get our ship on up here and let's pick up... Let's get the flotsam too. Let us pick up the wreck supplies there. Yeah, we did get that. 12 tons of tools. Good. Oh yeah, I guess we ought to get the children as well. Poor little things. They're soaking wet and shivering from the cold. Oh, that was close. Mm -hmm. Let's take him back to the abbot. I'm sure he'd be quite happy to uh, get them warm. The poor little ones are shivering with cold. Uh, Bring them huh? to me quickly. Sometimes it's just a little too predictable. I'm just sorry that I'm right. Um, what happened to my port? Here we go. Alright, we're gonna bring the swordfish back around. A little bit concerned now. When the abbot says he's having a chicken for dinner, um, I'm wondering what kind he's talking about. It doesn't really look like a chicken hawk, but uh, you never can tell. He spent a long time up in here in the mountains with his donkeys. Finally we're sighting the harbor ahead. That was a long boat ride. This is a big round island. Plenty of expansion room if they actually let me do it this time. Gelfdon. Or Gelfton. Alright. So children are treated just like any other cargo. We're gonna click on warehouse. And throw them overboard. There we go. And we have increased our honor. A few blankets and a mug of hot wine will soon warm the children up. Yeah, mug of hot wine. Uh, I think Michael Jackson was known for his Jesus juice, too. We're stuck at the border of the Orient. Perhaps the Sultan's Grand Vizier will help us. I've brought a gift. Please pick it up at my ship. Oh, why, thank you. That's very kind of you, Lord Northburg. It's good to see that you're finally recognized. Can I entrust you with the gift for the Grand Vizier now? my contributions to the cause, uh, so the gift isn't for me. It's for someone you've never met. <sighs> Par for the course, I guess. As sure. far as I know, the Grand Vizier is staying further south of this region. Let's hope that my present will appease him and he will help us. Sure, why don't we do that? Let's go to the God, south. God, these poor children! Their tattered clothes are hanging from their skinny bodies. I can't bear to see it. Would you be so kind as to donate a few linen garments? I'll be happy to, brother, right after I go and give gifts to people who've done absolutely nothing to deserve them. And off we go again. I'm not sure but I'm beginning to think that Guy Forcus might not be the only loser in this crusade. 